it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you guys how I whiten my teeth at home. I get so many comments from you guys saying my teeth are so white and they're so perfect, so I wanted to share some tips with you guys. And I am pre-filming this video, so today's post notification shout out goes to this subscriber down below. Thank you so much for having my post notifications on. And if you guys wanna get shout out in my next video, make sure you click the little bell after you subscribe and comment done down below when you've done that. And if you guys like the video, as always, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And also comment down below if you guys have done any kind of teeth whitening kits yourself. I used to use Crest Whitening Strips, so let me know if you guys have tried any other kits. I would love to hear what you guys have tried yourselves. And that's about it for this intro, so let's just get right on into the video. Woo! So recently a company called Smile Brilliant contacted me and they wanted me to try out one of their teeth whitening kits. And also Smile Brilliant is giving me a box to give away to one of you guys. So if you guys want to try out their whitening kit, I will be describing the giveaway rules towards the end of the video. So make sure you watch till the end. So the teeth whitening kit that Smile Brilliant sent me was the T3 non-sensitive whitening kit. This kit is meant for teeth that have light stains. I wouldn't say that I started with super yellow teeth, but I definitely did have some coffee stains that I wanted to get rid of. Of, so I think that this kit worked really well for those and on their site there are other types of kits in case you want something that's a little bit stronger to take away the yellowness on your teeth or if you have sensitive teeth they also have special kits for that so inside this whitening kit when you open it there are instructions on the top and there's also a booklet inside with further instructions but as you guys can see right here there are the plastic trays to make your own impressions there's three base paste and also three catalyst paste to help you mold your impression and also part of the whitening kit, they give you three teeth whitening syringes and they also give you three desensitizing gel syringes and each syringe is good for about three to four uses so you don't want to put a whole lot into your tray you kind of want to spread it out so just make sure you do that so you get more use out of the gels and you guys might be a little confused with what all the paste was and all the gels so right now I'm gonna walk you through the whole teeth whitening process of what I did before you start making your impressions, you want to make sure your teeth are clean, so make sure you brush and floss thoroughly. Next, you want to take the impression tray and you want one catalyst and one base paste. Next, you want to mix the catalyst paste with the base paste by folding them in half and you do not want to take longer than a minute. You want the putty to turn into a solid blue color. After the putty is mixed, you want to spread it evenly in the tray and try to do it under 30 seconds before it starts to harden. And now you are ready to make your upper impression. You want to have your fingers on the bottom of the tray and press into your teeth evenly going straight up. And you want to press the tray deep into your teeth so the putty will flow over your gum line. Try and leave the tray in for at least 2 minutes and 30 seconds until the putty has hardened. Once your tray has hardened, you can remove it from your mouth and you want to let the impression sit for at least 30 minutes and then you can rinse it under cold water. After your upper impression is complete, you can follow the exact same steps to do your lower impression. And when both your impressions are ready to go, you have to fill out the consent card they provide to you and place your impressions in the prepaid envelope to be shipped out to the lab. It took about three days for them to receive the impressions and then it took about another week to get my custom whitening trays. And when you receive your custom trays, they come in a container and they look like this and now you are ready to start the whitening process. Starting with the whitening gel, you want to apply a thin line along the outer front surface of the tray and you can leave the trays in for 45 minutes to 3 hours depending on sensitivity. I recommend starting with 45 minutes first and seeing how your teeth react and then you can increase your time with later sessions. And after whitening, you want to clean your trays and brush your teeth with toothpaste. And immediately after you whiten your teeth, you want to apply the desensitizing gel. Make sure your trays are clean and you want to apply them exactly how you applied the whitening gel. Leave the trays on your teeth for 15 to 20 minutes and after this you do not want to rinse your mouth when removing the trays and do not eat or drink anything for at least 30 minutes. 
So far I've been using this whitening kit for about a week and you can use it for up to 14 sessions. After doing it seven times you can definitely see results but if you want to keep going with the process you can do it for 14 sessions. And when I was whitening my teeth I did around 45 to an hour long sessions and the first time I put the whitening gel in the tray and put it onto my teeth I noticed that my gums felt a little bit tingly so you might feel that and my tongue felt a little tingly also. So I felt that for the first couple of sessions but then it started to go away and if you guys start to experience that you can coat your gums with coconut oil to try and help take away that tingly or numb feeling and like I said earlier I did try Crest whitening strips and I thought those were pretty effective on my teeth but after trying this I think that my teeth definitely got a little bit more whitened from the process compared to when I was using the Crest whitening strips I didn't really see too much of an impact from them and my experience with this whitening kit went really well the only negative thing I would say from this kit was just that I couldn't eat anything after 30 minutes of whitening my teeth so you have to keep that in mind because it is a pretty long process to whiten your teeth because you have to set aside at least one hour to whiten your teeth and then use the desensitizing gel after that I did that for about 20 minutes and then after that you can't eat for another 30 minutes you just want to keep that in mind to try to set aside like two hours just to whitening your teeth and in case you guys are interested in trying out the whitening kit and whitening your teeth at home yourselves I have a $15 off coupon code on trays which I'll have right here for you guys and also a 5% discount code off anything on their website which I'll leave right here again for you guys. And that was it for my review and tutorial of how I whiten my teeth at home. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment them down below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. And Smile Brilliant is letting me give away one of their whitening kits and the giveaway will last for two weeks. And if you guys want to enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel. And this giveaway is open to anyone in the US, UK, Canada, and Australia. And that is it for this week's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching how I whiten my teeth at home using Smile Brilliance whitening kit and I have some really fun spring and summer videos coming for you guys I have a bathing suit try on haul coming and also some really fun DIY projects coming so make sure you are subscribed to this channel if you aren't already I hope you all are doing amazing I love you guys so so much and good luck to everyone who is entering the giveaway and I will see you all in next week's video bye guys